Hello everyone and welcome back to the video series. In the last part of the video series, we have created the wings and the stabilizers. And now in this part of the video, we'll just focus more on creating the engines and as well as the pylons for the aircraft. And we'll also be making the windows. So let's get started. Now to make the engine, our first priority will be using revolve tool. But here we can't use revolve because revolve will give me the symmetric portions on the bottom and the upper side. But it has got more bump on the bottom surface and less bump on the top surface. So we can't use revolve here. So we have to use the form tool. So I'll just go to form. And we'll use the extrude tool for this. So before that we have to create a contours for this engine outing. So I've already created that so you can see here you can just go ahead into create sketch right plane use create sketch, create sketch front plane and then you can just use the control points line to make this and then I'll just go directly to extrude portion and we'll extrude this and this much more. and then using move and copy tool will bring this forward. And we'll adjust this as well. Okay, now we'll start modeling the engine. So by pressing Alt on the keyboard, just drag it over. Okay, this will work. From the side also okay okay. now a little more Okay, now one last. First, we'll adjust it from the upper side. And then from the bottom side as well. Front side. And now the same way I've stretched the engine to this portion and now we'll work on creating the nozzle for the engine. So for nozzle we can directly go to the revolve and we can use the revolve tool for the nozzle. So before that I'll just go to offset plane and we'll keep the plane here. So I have created the engine nacelle now and now we will work on creating the nozzle. So for nozzle we can directly go and use the revolve tool as it is symmetric from the other sides. So just turn on the construction, take the offset plane and just bring the plane over to the middle of the engine. 
somewhere here okay and now finish the form just go to create sketch uh, take this center line Take the revolve tool and just revolve it. And we'll adjust the nozzle a little. Okay. Now I'll go to patch and we'll patch the ends and then go to stitch and stitch them and now we'll go to shell option and we'll type 0 point and wait for it to happen okay so we got it correct And the same thing I'll do here in the nozzle as well. Now uh, somewhat around 0.1. Okay. And then I'll take the plane once again. And I will crop it. And then we'll color it white and that will be okay. From the inside we'll paint it as black. Okay. And now the nozzle will be in metallic color, so steel satin will work fine for me. Now we'll work on creating the pylon for the engine. We'll go to side plane. And I've seen how the pylon for 7% looks like in real. So I'll just try to model based on that. So here will be my center line. We'll give a plane there. And we'll come here. So this will be my center line. We'll project the earlier those two points, and then starting from here till here, we'll make the line. And I also make a airport type shape here. And then we'll mirror it. And I'll finish this sketch. And now here we can do the sweeping as well. But instead of that I'll just go with the loft tool. So we'll loft it 0.01 something. Now I'll click on it and we'll create a copy of it. We'll send it upwards and somewhere here we'll put it. And then we'll reduce the size of it by using scale option. So 0.7 will work for me. Let's put it out. We 
delete this for now and we'll go to log choose this then this then choose the curvature and we got a body so the 757 pylon looks something like this so we'll just create a new component and we don't need this now so we'll just okay now we'll use we'll try to push it somewhere upwards and then using press pull we will pull it down again okay now we have to do a little fillet over the all sides so before that we'll just mirror everything to other side okay so now this is a crucial step now we have to combine everything to one body so that we can do the inside fillet wait for it to happen okay here is some little so we'll just suppress it with the press pool same from here we need to do As the file is sitting longer so it can lag up to some time so we have to take care of it so we'll just go and we'll combine these as well okay so now they are under one body so now we'll start creating okay, this will work fine for me instead of 1 we can give 0 0.5 okay same here Now we'll color the nozzle. And the pylons will also be in gray color. So this will work best. And they have to be in black color. Same we'll do here. Yeah. 
there is some error here in the mirror so we can just go back here and we can delete it and we can again mirror it then it will be correct so as for now i'll just go ahead with this only I'll again remirror this as it's not looking uh, not looking good. So first, I'll delete this. and then we'll delete this all and wait for it to happen and now we'll remirror this So now instead of mirroring this part, what I'll do is I'll just go to the side plane and I'll project this line. And mirror it to other side and join them. choose everything then spread them together now we deleted the contact between the wings and the fuselage now I no longer don't need this one so we'll start hiding this body okay now I'll mirror it one more time Just one more. And this as well. Okay, so we got everything correct now. Let's start making the windows now. And for fan plates, I've already demonstrated in a earlier video so i'll give the link in the description so you guys can go there and can watch how to make the fan a simple type of fan blades i'll not i'll not go in making the uh, the difficult or the advanced ones so just turn on the canvas and i will go to front plane first i'll take the window a door portion will mm, just fillet it and then one more inside and one small circle it has got three big doors so we'll take three so before that we'll uh, do this
and then trim out these lines okay now take the mirror and copy option choose everything and create a copy put it here here we can use a rectangular pattern also but I want it to be as accurate as possible so I'll not go ahead with that we'll repeat it one more time double click on everything and we'll get it correct okay we got it half done and then we'll work on the windows and then offset it also and here we'll go with the rectangular pattern so before that I need to make I need to place at least one window behind every door and this one more Okay, so now we can start splitting. Just finish this sketch. First, we'll split the doors. We'll turn the sketches on. And then we'll go first, we'll take this. And let's see if we can do the two at once. Okay, so we can't do two, so we need to do it one by one. So we'll take one, this first. Then we'll turn it back again. Then we'll go with this one first and then the middle one and then the outer one and then this now i'll go to press pull and we'll pull it over Now we'll go to second door and we'll just repeat the process. So I have added three doors here like it was there in the canvas. So now we'll work more on creating the windows for the aircraft. So we'll repeat the same process. First go to turn on the sketches first. Then choose the body and then first choose the inner body. Then choose the outer body. As a fuselage is hollow from inside, so it's better to choose the inner body first than the outer body. And then we'll turn on the canvas. And we'll see how many windows are there. So 13 are there so we'll go to rectangular pattern choose features choose these two then go to directions and choose this plane 
and then pull it over to somewhere here and let it happen So we got the 13 windows. It's not aligned somewhat with the canvas, but never mind. We can just go ahead with this. And then same thing, same process I'll repeat here as well. So first we'll go and we'll split this one. And then we'll go and split the other one. And then we can just go ahead and we we'll do a rectangular pattern of it. So we have successfully created the windows, doors, and as well I have added the emergency windows as well on the both sides. So now our 80% work is done. Now we have to add the inlet fan for the turbo fan engine, and some detailing is yet yet to do. So we'll complete those in the next part of the video. So. Thank you everyone for watching this video and we'll meet in next part. Thank you everyone.